Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. here we are in after effects now let's create a new composition i'll call it as main animation and for the width is 1920 and height is i'll take 100 first duration is three minutes for now and for the background color i choose solid black color and frame rate is 30 and let's hit ok now choose this grid and guide option and title selection now i'll choose my text tool and I'll type motion select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to this align tab and align it horizontally and then align it vertically now we will choose our selection tool and we will move this motion text by holding shift over here now I'll create one keyframe on the position property zoom in a little bit go to the one seconds and move this motion text over here and at 2 seconds I will copy this first keyframe by, by pressing ctrl C and paste it by pressing ctrl V now after this what I will do is I will hit ctrl D on keyboard hit P for position properties and what I will do is I will select this uh, keyframes hit F9 go to this graph editor select this graph editor and just adjust it by holding shift like this so we will get this kind of animation now what i'll do is i'll hit f4 on keyboard and now we will enable this option which is known as motion blur i'll enable this and this also so as you can see we are getting this motion blur effect over here now i'll hide this second layer and choose this first layer hit ctrl p for selecting our text tool and instead of motion i'll type design over here now i'll hide this first layer and i'll enable my motion layer now in middle of these two keyframes what we will do is we'll go over here now as we can see here we are getting our motion blur effect so what we'll do is we will create keyframe for opacity hit T on keyboard create one keyframe hit page down button and let's make it opacity 0 zoom in a little bit go backwards hit ctrl C to copy this uh, keyframes now enable our first layer and hit ctrl V over here and hit T so we can see that keyframes now right click on this keyframes and what we will do is go to the keyframe assistant and time reverse now hit u so we can see all of our keyframes now go to a start and if we play our animation now we will get this smooth transition from motion to this now we will repeat this same procedure in a reverse manner for this further animation now move over here so as you can see this is and this is our time transition point we can say now what we will do is we will select our motion layer select this opacity keyframe hit ctrl c select this design layer hit ctrl v select this opacity keyframes of this design layer hit ctrl c select this motion text and hit ctrl v so we get this effect now what we'll do is we'll both select the both this there's create one keyframe at the start go to end and again we will create one keyframe over here now what we'll do is we will alt click on the stopwatch and create loop out expression i'll type loop out hit ctrl a and hit ctrl c to copy that expression i'll click on this stopwatch of opacity press ctrl v so it will apply the same expression over here also again select this second text layer press 
alternate press control v to paste it also i'll click on this position property and hit control v so we will get this loop animation over here now create new composition by hitting control n on keyboard i'll call it as main and height is 1080 and hit ok now we will drag our main animation over here so we will get something like this move it a little bit upward up to here press p on keyboard now we will type one expression over here i'll click on this stopwatch and uh, type this expression as it is So after typing this expression, what we need to do is we just need to hit Ctrl T few times, select all these layers, press V for selection tool, and just move it a little bit upward up to the rear. So we will get our animation like this. Now what I'll do is I'll zoom in a little bit over here by using our opening bracket to adjust it like this square bracket it looks cool now what I'll do is okay, so hit control A alt square bracket go over here and again hit the square bracket so we will get this kind of animation now hit ctrl shift c and i will call it as text grp hit ok now hit ctrl d go to one second and by using same option square bracket and select these two layers and move it over here so we will get something like this yep now again we will what we will do is hit ctrl shift c and i will call it as final text hit ok now hit ctrl d three times select the second one go to the effect and preset panel and apply fill effect on it go to the third one apply fill effect and for the color here i choose blue color choose the fourth layer apply fill effect and for the color i will choose green color hit ok press ctrl y on keyboard to create a solid background and move this over here lock this uh, layer and select this three layers press f4 and choose screen option and now what we will do is I will adjust this text comps just like this and select this four layers and select this four and select this four and select this four layers and press alt and square bracket and just move it over here now go to 2 seconds and hit N so now we will get this looping text animation just like this or if you want then you can add this too also so you get some kind of animation like this if you want then you can change color of this instead of red you can choose whatever color you want and if you want that RGB feel so you can choose enable these three layers and you will get effect like this but for now I will choose only this one something like this 
or if you don't want this then you can simply enable this first layer only so you will get something like this and it's a looping typographic animation and if you want to change the colors of this animation just create one adjustment layer apply tint effect on it swap these colors or what we can do is you can just by holding shift drag this adjustment lower layer up to here so we will get something like this thank you for watching this tutorial guys if you like this video then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned